uh, another piece of news that we got here, uh, quarter scale, right? So not a lot of collectors. I saw something pretty exciting, by the way, on a side note about quarter scale. Someone was saying in one of the groups that I think it was a place for collecting, they would love to see an Iron Man Battle Damage 85 in quarter scale. And I was like, that actually would be a good quarter scale figure to make. Not a lot of collectors really seem to support quarter scale, but I think that would be one that I'd be like, huh, that would be kind of tempting for me too. So I guess it just depends on the figure. That said, we did get a release in quarter scale and it's this Boba Fett from the book of Boba Fett. And I gotta ask the question, Kiko, do collectors give a shit about quarter scale? Cause I don't think they do. I don't think, cause this figure looks fantastic. Look at that head sculpt. I mean, this is one of the best head sculpts they maybe ever have done. I mean, this is beautiful. And the figure looks great. The base is cool. There's been so many good quarter scale figures, but just no one seems to give a shit. What do you think? Has there though? Has there been great quarter scale figures? Because I, mean, I think the Darth Vader is pretty great. As owners of quarter scale figures, eh, like I saw this and I was like, yawn. Like I have Mando. I've had Darth Vader. All right. I have Darth Vader. I have Mando. I have no desire to continue to add quarter scale figures unless someone literally uh, gave it to me essentially, or I got it for like a hundred bucks or something like that. The price point and the real estate just do not line up for me at all is there's way too much room that it takes up, especially if you're, and when you do go quarter scale, you need to go deluxe. You need to go with the, get the big base and everything because those are pieces of art in themselves. Very cool. But man, uh, I, the real estate that this takes up for the price point and the shipping is absurd to me. And I, I've seen people say, if you're going to collect quarter scale, only collect quarter scale. And you can, that way you can help, you know, plan out your purchases a little bit easier. You can say, okay, I only get like three releases a year. That's cool. I'm going to get these three figures a year. I can kind of rein myself in. And I get that. That's cool if that's for you. But as someone who has a majority of their collection being six scale, I'm not doing this again. Um, I have I was really hyped when I saw the Vader in person because I got it from Replay Toys. I'm like, this is cool. I'm It's Darth Vader. Let me get this home. So with that being said, I was super cool with like the, ah, oh, let me try the Mando. And then I got Mando in and I've never been like more like sad that I have that taking up real estate than I have been because they sit everywhere. There's no resale value on them at all. You can't move them if you do want to move it out without taking a loss because it's like a statue at that point. They're just too big to move. And if you want to go the quarter scale route, make sure you really like it because unless it's like the Terminator endoskeleton to where, you know, those are very hard to come by and such, you're going to not be able to move it unless you're taking a serious loss. So that's the one thing I would say. So do we, do collectors care about quarter scale? It depends on what you're collecting, I guess. If you're collecting quarter scale, probably. If you're an average six scale collector, not it for me, man. I would say most collectors don't collect quarter scale though. They, they do hot toys. You know what I mean? I'm surprised they still make them because pop culture, you know, sideshow, other places, they discount the shit out of quarter scale figures. I mean, they they're just like giving them away. Like, by the way, did you see it was funny yesterday? They were giving away the Stanley Barbers. Yes. They yes. Were, that was fucking hilarious. Oh, because I, I almost that. checked out the Infinity Gall and they were like, You get a free Stanley Barber just for being alive. Like that's they were just like giving them away. So yeah, it's it's pretty wild. But Marco, what do you think? I mean, I've only owned one quarter scale hot toy myself. It was the Joker, the Heath Ledger Joker. And I sold it because I knew I was getting the Queen one, um, which is fantastic, by the way. But Marco, what do you think? I mean, do collectors seem to care about quarter scale? And what do you think about this Boba Fett? Yeah, I don't think most collectors do care about quarter scale. I think this is Hot Toys, you know, not understanding their market uh, well enough, right? And, and I would assume that they're not going to continue to do these too much longer. I mean, we'll see how long this one sits around, but um, they're just hard to match in your collection, right? I think the concept sounds great. And I would love to add some quarter scale of, you know, characters that I love, such as the Bale Batman. I know that's out there right now. I could go get it if I wanted it. But then I think about, well, I've already got that representation in one six. Do I necessarily need this next level of or the next scale up? And to me, that doesn't necessarily make sense. I would rather have other characters from that line. Give me a Scarecrow. Give me um, Tal uh, Talia al Ghul, right? Um, give me any of those random characters from the Dark Knight instead of me going to get a quarter scale figure. And so so that's that instance where I've already got representation. If I don't have representation in 1.6, then... I would either rather go grab the one six or if they're, if they haven't created it yet, which is like a pretty rare, if not non-existent instance, um, then yes. Yeah, so, so at the end of the day, I think most of us are just coming back to, we would rather have something in one six. We can appreciate this from afar, but the price point 
and the scale just doesn't necessarily fit in with most people's collections. So yeah, I think uh, they're just really hard to care about. Although this one is beautiful. I did see this in person. It looks terrific, but just nothing that compels me to go get it. Mm. Yeah, that's understandable. That's very reasonable. And I think that's where a lot of collectors are going to fall on this one. It does look great. The show was a little bit divisive, polarizing. I mean, some people loved it, some didn't, some were kind of so-so on it. I thought it was okay. I didn't really hate it, but I, I certainly didn't love it. Uh, I loved, I thought the best thing about it was Cad Bane, to be honest, um, So, which was interesting. But I can't deny how good this figure looks, but it doesn't really matter how good a quarter scale is from Hot Toys. It's going to sit regardless, like whether it's Mando or Vader or Boba or Spider. That Spider-Man Deluxe is pretty cool with that Vulture base. That one's pretty great, and they were discounting. That one's been tempting. Yeah, they discounted the fuck out of it. And, you know, Marco, I've been looking at the Bale Batman too because I have the quarter scale Joker. And I was like, well, that Bale Batman would be pretty cool. But just, dude, there's weight. That thing's going to be bargain bin so fast. Oh, like, yeah. it's, they're, <laughs> they're going to discount that thing so hard. It's, you know, there's quarter scale figures. If you're patient, you will get that thing. Pop culture, worst case, will have it and you'll get it for $300 shipped or something. Like, it's, and that's going to be a sweet spot for me. Yeah. yeah. If it drops to that, I would honestly consider getting it, but, but definitely not at the price it's at currently. Right. Exactly. So anyway, guys, let us know your thoughts on the quarter scale figures from Hot Toys. Should they keep making them? Is there a certain character you want to see? Let us know. Um, because I think people would be interested to hear, you know, whether you're interested against I'm certainly sure Hot Toys would be. That said, we're gonna jump back on the DC train. 